Alright, hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of What the Hell Were They Thinking? It's a series that I'm starting on my channel where we go over uh, some uh, content uh, via Twitter, Facebook, or, you know, wherever people happen to be uh, posting things that are uh, either crazy, ludicrous, or a little bit in between. Uh, today's episode, we're going to stick to tradition and go over Christian's Twitter. Um, recently, you know, he he has been sharing some uh, fan art that people have made for him, and he's all... He, he also uploaded a video to his YouTube channel in which he criticized said fan art, and, you know, supposedly he was kind of a dick about it. Uh, but, you know, uh, we'll go ahead and review that video in due time. But, uh, let's go ahead and look over, uh, Chris Chan's Twitter, shall we? So, first thing of notice here is that Chris Chan's Twitter is, uh, restricted. Uh, what I mean by that is he has it set so that on only people that he either follows or mentions can comment on his tweets. Of course, we can still retweet them, but, you know, they don't get ratioed like they used to. Because, you know, Christian used to have people tweeting things at him under his posts like, get a job or finish the comics. And, you know, of course, Twitter uh, unveiling their new feature where, you know, you can create echo chambers. Chris Chan took full advantage of that. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get on to reading the tweets. Uh, Chris Chan, four hours ago. On at... Wait, hold on. <coughs> on at Hulu, I am checking out the first episode of the new Hashtag Animaniacs show. To comment at Warner Brothers, one of the Warners were lost. They continue living on. Anyway, hashtag Peaky in the Brains show is satisfying as well. Someone make a pic of the brain photo. Use as a wallpaper. Hashtag Narv. Uh, what's... What is... What is hashtag Narv? What is this? Thing for you know, uh, Animaniacs, I guess. I don't know. Okay. We have a post from three hours ago, which continues on in the thread. Today, on hashtag Mathard Peace Theater, a sonature runs 770 miles per hour from Charlottesville, Virginia, at 10.55 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, westward. A residue runs 655 miles per hour from San Francisco, California, at 7.55 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Street point line from either point, which city, state, and at time there do they meet? Um... What? Oh, and the residue from California is running eastward. My bad for leaving that out. Um, I I don't, I I don't I don't understand. You you need to be a little bit more precise. You you can be running in a certain direction in a straight line, but. Depending on where you start from, your your destination is always going to be different if you're running exactly in a straight line. So, like, I, I don't understand that. I'm, I'm looking too deep into it. There's, there's, I'm, I'm looking too much into the nuance. Okay, let's see. Uh, here we go. Is this, is this the one that I uh, was talking about before? No, couldn't be. Okay, here we go. This is the uh, video that I had uh, mentioned before. Here, dude, listen and heed well. Um, you know what? Let's let's go ahead and uh, look at that video here real quick, just see what uh, what's being said here. Okay, uh, we went over to the YouTube video and 
by golly, the like to dislike ratio. Sonichu reads in critiques of fanfic by at the Crimson Libertarian. Um, so I see Christian is still LARPing as Sonichu. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get into it. Okay, let's see. So, if you guys can't tell, there's- how are you supposed to discern who's talking and- and who is it, you know? When- when quote-unquote Sonichu is speaking, Sonichu sounds exactly like, uh, Chris Chan. So there's no way for you to tell, uh, who's- who sounds like what, like if- if you know- if, if if you didn't know any better, you would always assume that, you know, Chris Chan was, you know, talking, but- I, I digress. This this is all made up in your mind. This this is all delusions to you. You you need you need to understand that there are many things wrong with you and you need to get help. You want to critique something that someone made for you. You you should be thankful that anyone is making anything for you. There's people that pay for you to make your comics. You know, you, you have a Patreon, which, you know, last I checked, had only, what, you were only getting, what, like $80 a month from Patreon? That, because people, you know, they, they haven't decided to remove their pledges from you. But, you know, you're... <sighs> You, you should be thankful that anyone's even making anything for you at all. Like, like, let, let's be honest here. I, I mean, the the way that you portray your quote unquote criticism is just you finding an excuse to ramble about how something is flawed and incorrect. Like, okay, <sighs> I digress. Let's uh continue. She doesn't go by Christine either. Fuck off. You 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 call you refer to yourself as Sonichu now? Oh my god, it's worse than I thought. Okay. Ugh. No, that no, absolutely not. I, I refuse. You will you will always be Chris Chan to me. I I, I quite frankly you you know I'm I'm gonna go off on a tangent here for a minute. A while back I made a video where I said I was going to start uh, being neutral in regards to Chris Chan. Whenever whenever, you know he uh he does something Uh, what was I saying? Um, right, right, okay. Um, I was saying that, you know, I uploaded a video a while back where I said I was going to start showing Chris Chan, uh, neutral respect henceforth because I feel that personally he hasn't done anything personally. Personally? He hasn't done anything to me personally. But, you know, just, ba I, I realized that I shouldn't have said that because... My, my, my amount of respect for Christian, you know, personally, me, I, I actually despise Christian. Like, like, let's be honest. He, he, fasc he fascinates me, 
But he also despise- he's also, you know, I also despise him. I find him fascinating, but I also despise him, if that makes sense. So, uh, okay. <clears throat> I shouldn't sigh. Anyway, let's, uh, keep going. Do you look at a calendar for this? What is that even supposed to mean? Some someone, you know, is, you know, trying to encompass the mood, you know, you know, they're they're trying to encompass the mood. So they, you know, the term and a date that seem that seems, you know, realistic. Okay? Which, you know, that that's that's not really something that's really worth criticizing. But uh okay. There, there's, you, you shouldn't, the, the nuance with the date is unimportant, okay? I, I mean, it doesn't matter what day of the week it is, just that, you know, th this, this is the time that it takes place, and you just happen to be at Manchester High, but I digress. You you know, uh, I I would I know I I shouldn't be you know having this type of criticism, but if you're going to review something, at least you know, do it do it from like a tablet or a laptop where you know the screen is bigger. I I know I shouldn't be you know pointing that out because of the way I record my videos. I record my fucking videos in portrait mode with a uh, screen recorder app, but uh, anyway, moving on. How would he have known what your schedule for Manchester High and 1996 was like? Nine, nine, that this was fucking 24 years ago. Why? I, I mean, why is you know whether or not he looked at the schedule relevant? This person made a fucking fan fiction for you, and you're nitpicking it. Like, like I, I'm not even five. I'm not even three minutes into this video, and you're already. I find so many things wrong with this. You are one to fucking talk. You are one to talk. You 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 piss me off sometimes, Christian. <laughs> um, you you piss me off sometimes. Let's continue. I, I don't think this is really past tense because he's not talking about right now. He's talking back then when you still considered yourself to be a male. And you know, I, I think I think in some I think in some part you still consider yourself to be a male, but you're only identifying as a female because it benefits you in in some way, shape or form. I I honestly believe that you're using the female card as a play to Get pity or some shit. But then again, what would I know? You're 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 too mentally incapable of thinking of a scheme that crafty. 
Let's continue. Nice one. Sitting on the bench wearing a sweatshirt displaying the Manchester High School Masters team emblem is the somewhat overweight, even at that age, choir boy. Nice! <laughs> nice! That is awesome! Fucking wonderful. <laughs> Passive aggressive is fucking wonderful. Chris. Yeah. No one's Christian about that, but he So are are you gonna fault him for being, you know, accurate? Are are you gonna are you gonna fault this individual for that? I, I don't know if the person that made this fan fiction is a male or a female. I, I I'm assuming that they're most likely male, because, you know, I, I can't imagine there's many genuine female fans of Christian. Um, you know, anyway. She was, she was not overweight at all. She was actually... She was not overweight at all. He was 200... She was... Ugh, he was over 200 pounds. So, yes, you were overweight. And quite frankly, you still are. Slender, slim, my type. She was not overweight, she was not fat. Remove that word. You most definitely were, without a doubt in my mind. You, you are... You were, you were not slender. Uh, no, you absolutely were not. Is the... Slender, even at that age, Waterboy Chris. Alright? So there's your first edit right there. Fucking ego, am I right? Uh, second counting me. Double space between the oven and the, which I pointed out just a moment ago. It's Stop criticizing the fact that he's using double spacing. He probably does that for a reason. So he knows how, so he knows where to start the next paragraph. It's easier for the reader when you double space. Double spacing is quite common in stuff like this. You know, if if the if the if the words are small and you know the sentences are are a little lengthy, it's easier on the reader. This isn't this isn't for his sake. He's most likely doing this for the sake of the reader. And that's something you need to keep in mind when when you go ahead and review fanfiction next time and that's if someone makes fanfiction for you again because based on you know your your treatment of this individual and the fanfiction that they did for you i find it very unlikely that anyone is going to make anything for you at this point he sits there looking absolutely checked out and looking off to the side at what was just a blank wall that that's that sounds pretty accurate. That I I would go so far as to say that's pretty accurate to you know how how you could have been, Chris. You know, that's something that I used to do. I I have autism as well. And that's something I used to do, you know, back when I was in, you know, middle school, high school. Granted I didn't do it as often when I was in high school because, you know, I started getting more mentally mature. I, I mean, I'm still a little mentally immature, you know, given, you know, everything that's going on in my life. But, you know, I, I did stuff like that in middle school. I did it a lot more in elementary school. I did it a little bit in middle school. I sometimes did it in high school, but it wasn't, you know, as bad because I learned to, you know, not do it. But, you know. It's for the institution of this, um, she was actually reading a uh, Pierce Street novel from R.L. Stein. That's what she was doing at the time. You were reading R.L. Stein novels? I, I mean, isn't, isn't R.L. Stein? You know, the author, the creator of Goosebumps, that, uh, that novel series for, you know, kids and preteens that have, like, spooky stories and shit. I, 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 I could be mistaken. Someone please correct me. Although, I mean, yeah, you're basing it off of, uh, the event that happened in the book, but, I mean, obviously, 
obviously. When she was reading that Fear Street book, looking at the lockers and that's how she found Bionic, but and you're just you're just meshing here this man thing. Anyway, the camera starts to spin around him as the gymnasium reverts to a retro 16-bit landscape. I wouldn't say it's turned to retro 16-bit. He's describing a scenario in which, you know, you're teleported into a world that's, you know, reminiscent of that of, say, like, the SNES or the Nintendo 64, or whatever console was in at that time period, okay? What, what part of that do you not understand? Console graphics at that time were, you know, considered, you know, revolutionary, especially on the PS1. The PS1 at the time was the most, I, I, I would argue as to say that the PS1 at the time was probably better in regards to, you know, what games were being imported on there. Uh, one of my favorite games, in fact, for the PS1 is, well, I have two favorite games. Uh, one of them was sort of like a niche uh, third-party game that, you know, was still developed by a AAA affiliate. I, I don't even think they were AAA. I don't even know if AAA was a thing back then. But two of my favorite games for the PS1. Uh, Ape Escape, which is by far and still is my favorite game of all time. And a game that was sort of like a spin-off of the, of the main series, but... Twisted Metal Small Bro. It, it was, it's, it's similar in regards to the original series, but it's, you're, you're, the main characters are, you know, teenagers and they control RC cars instead of actual vehicles, okay? But, you know, I, I don't want to go off on a tangent about a game, about reminiscing about a game that, uh, you know, I haven't played in years. I just want to get on to the critique of Chris Chan's critique of someone's fanfiction. It, it doesn't look 16-bit gamey. It's, you know, like you see in an animation, a cartoon, or like, you know, CG brought to life type of thing. Anyway, Chris stands up from a log that he was sitting on walks through the brush where he eventually comes to a clearing. He gazes across the clearing, and there he sees the classic Green Hill Zone level. Green Hill Zone. Oh, very nice. I actually quite like that. That is... I, I like that. I genuinely do. I, I really do. Props to you. You're, you're, you're really encompassing the mood and the uh, feeling of this type of fanfiction. I feel and drawn into the world that you're describing here. I, I like this. Very nice. But let's see what Christian has to say. It's probably not going to be good. Oh, area. You know, it's the area. It's not just a level. It's part of the whole entire area. Classically, Hills on the level in the original Sonic the Hedgehog game. Parentheses. Yes. Really. Really. Yes, really. 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 Yeah, really. 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 Really? How many times are you gonna say really? I, I, I counted at least 12 times in that time frame. I guarantee you I'm gonna count more. Uh, Chris Fangasming. Fang... Fangasming. Fangasming. <laughs> nice. That, that's funny. I like that. <laughs> Yes, it is a word. Fangasming. Fangasming. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's as beautiful as it was on the TV. Yeah, see, you know it's a word. Don't don't act like it's not. <laughs> Look at this. Chris stands there, mouth agape. But he's suddenly distracted by something moving from left to right. Close-up shot of the Sega mascot moving around at the speed of sound. Hey. Sonic 
walk sitting across the landscape, leaving a trail of 16-bit dust in his stride. Not 16-bit dust, actually. No! <laughs> Chris Chan. Do you not understand what the writer was describing to you? He was describing a feeling of being- he was describing the mood of being teleported into a world that's different from our own, but it happens to have a feel that's similar in scope to that of a 16-bit level, you know? Nothing- if- I, I don't even know why I'm trying to explain this. How are you going to criticize someone for having a grammar error? Now, I, I will I will say that, you know, that, that that was a mistake, you know, that was a little confusing for me, I will admit that. But who are you to criti criticize someone for having a grammatical error in their fanfiction? You are a literal walking grammatical error, okay? I mean, I mean, your, your, your comic book series, the way that you have the, uh, speech bubbles set up. I mean, I mean, some of your, some of the dialogue in your comics exceeds two pages. For, you know, one scenario, some of the dialogue exceeds over two pages. Like, so who, who are you to complain about someone having a grammatical error in, in their in their story. Like honestly. He goes through hoops, gathers rings, and defeats some bandits along the way, releasing their animal controllers. Right? Instead, Chris goes, Go Sonic, go Yeah, that 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 sounds about right. That that sounds like something you would have done. I actually, you know, I, I can, I can see that. I, I, I can, I can actually envision that. I can imagine that, you know, in my head. It's, it's really detailed. I actually quite enjoy this fanfiction so far. I can appreciate a good story when it's told. I really can. And this is a good story. I love this. This is... This is wonderful. I, I genuinely like this. I, I really do. Like like I, I cannot find I cannot find the words to explain how good this is. I love it. But you know un unfortunately it, it has to get overshadowed by fucking Christian being Christian. Uh, but anyway, we're on the seven mi we're on the seven minute forty six second mark. Um that'll do it for now. Um, the next video, we can go ahead and keep on reviewing uh, Chris Chan's critique of this person's fanfiction. I'm going to go ahead and let them know that, you know, I am, I am enjoying the uh, fanfiction so far. I quite, like, I quite like their work. And if you would like to show their support as well, um, I can, you know, leave their, I can leave their uh, Twitter at in the description below so you can go ahead and follow them. Thank them for, you know... Writing, writing this wonder, wonderful piece of art that Chris Chan doesn't appreciate. If someone's going to appreciate it, it should be you guys. I appreciate it as well. But anyway, so guys, if you guys did enjoy, uh, which, you know, I don't see why you would, uh, go ahead and leave a like down below and let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Uh, you can also join the Discord, interact with me in there as well. Now, uh, with that being said, thank you guys for coming in, uh, and I will see you in the next one.